here I just got from Amazon a pack of 30 thermal pads for M.2 drives. And if you open it up, you can use it for anything, but um, they're the size of the M.2 drives. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, I already used one. I already cut it into pieces. Um, but here, as you can see, I'm going to bring them a little bit closer. You can see some of the thicknesses are different than others. So sometimes you want a thicker one, sometimes you want a thinner one. There are all different sizes over here. So that's really nice. And you can cut them off. There are, is plastic on both sides. I'm not sure if one side is sticky and one side isn't. But I didn't really pay too much attention. If you get yourself an M.2 drive, I got one right here. But on eBay for $12 for 128 gigabytes. And it works well. Company light on. And you can just take one of these pads and put it right over this. And as you can see, it's pretty much a perfect fit. So that's pretty cool. Um, I was told that these stickers are actually thermally uh, conductive and they're actually made in a way where um, they conduct heat and they don't uh, they dissipate it a little bit. So you don't have to take the sticker off if you're putting the pad on, but you can put the pad right on. And if you have some kind of case, like for example this case right here, you want to put a pad in between the thermal uh, heat sink and the actual SSD. So you can use one of these to put it in between if the item that you have doesn't come with one or if you just want to dissipate heat. This also works to dissipate heat a little bit. However, the best thing is to have a heatsink on top of that. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped.